Well, Korea is gearing up to have this new free trade agreement take effect as early as uh, next year. That means uh, Korean businesses will get to enjoy the benefits from tariff cuts starting January 1st, 2016. Our Kim Min-ji breaks down the economic impact from Korea-China FTA. Over the next 10 years, the Korea-China FTA is expected to boost Korea's real GDP by almost 1 percent and create over 53-thousand new jobs. The government will work closely with China and modify related rules for the trade deal to take effect this year. If this happens, tariffs will immediately be cut the day it takes effect and again on January 1st. Under the deal, Seoul will eliminate import tariffs on 79 percent of all products from China within a decade, while Beijing will do the same on 71 percent of all products from Korea. In 20 years, duties will be removed on over 90 percent of all goods. That translates to over 5 billion U.S. dollars less in tariffs paid by exporters every year. Korea's free trade agreement with its largest trading partner, China, is expected to provide new momentum for local exports that have fallen every month this year. The FTA is expected to boost annual bilateral trade between the countries to more than $300 billion, up nearly 40 percent from 2012. In addition, the deal will give Korea price competitiveness over rivals in China's huge consumer market. Korea's early advancement to the Chinese market uh, earlier than our competitors, such as Australia, United States, and other countries, is critical for Korea's long-term success in the Chinese market. Like many other trade deals, the agriculture sector has been a sticking point. But experts say the level of liberalization for the agrofishery sector is lower compared to Korea's other FTAs. Korea was able to protect highly sensitive products, including rice. There's going to be damage to some sectors, but we can't say it's entirely because of the FTA. The government says the further opening of China could actually give Korea's agriculture sector more opportunity to make inroads into the Chinese market. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.